what is the future of forensic science? Well, it's not just technology. Technology is nice, but you need to apply it. If two bullets or two cartridge cases match, it might just mean that they were fired from the same batch of guns, not by the same individual gun. Your statistical empirical problems here, wow, it's really a mess. And there is nobody, either on the defense or the prosecution in crime labs or out, who can give you any estimate scientifically about how frequently uh, there are errors involving forensic science. We had a case out in Montana where the initial hair evidence was re-examined by the FBI, and they said, no, 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 clearly this person was excluded, uh, and, and it was erroneous for anybody to suggest it was a match in the first place. 26 months ago, I was uh, proven innocent by uh, DNA after serving 16 years in New York State Prison for uh, murder and rape. I was convicted based upon a coerced false confession obtained after uh, many hours of interrogation. Uh, all my appeals were denied. Ultimately, I was uh, proven innocent because the Innocence Project took my case. They took the crime scene DNA evidence, which already didn't match me. They ran it through the DNA data bank, and it matched the real perpetrator, who subsequently confessed. Forensic science is not an enemy. It is not a tiger that is to be caged and is causing rampant problems throughout our criminal justice system. In fact, quite the opposite. The primary threat to our criminal justice system is volume. When our justice institutions can't keep up with the caseloads, you are more likely to get failures. That's the bottom line. You want to make sure that when it's out there happening, that there is a certain degree of quality assurance. Uh, uh, John said you get quality assurance from good leadership. No, you get quality assurance from, from having uh, uh, the best scientific methods available. That's the future, and I think that's the future that all of us can, can rally around because it's going to give the folks who are out there who do this kind of work an opportunity to prove that what they're doing is valid. There is a real lack of forensic science resources for the forensic bar, especially in pre-conviction cases. You, most of you are familiar with the Innocence Project. That's post-conviction. But many people should never get to prison never should be convicted. In all likelihood, but for the Innocence Project, I would still be incarcerated.